Protectors of the Sunnah. Sunnah Protectors of the Sunnah. Ina alaham duni la wa salat wa salam ala wa rasulullah. Welcome to another session of our hadith class. And these are the hadiths from Imam Bukhari's collection, the heart softeners. And let's look at the hadith for tonight. In this hadith, uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah said that he will declare war against anyone who shows hostility to a worshiper of his and the most beloved things with which a person can get close to Allah is by enjoining upon himself the things that Allah has enjoined upon us to do. And a person will continue to get closer to Allah by performing the voluntary deeds until Allah loves him. And once Allah loves you, Allah will become your sense of hearing with which you hear, your sense of sight with which you see, and your hand with which you grip, and your leg with which you walk. And if you were to ask Allah for anything, he will give it to you. And if you were to ask Allah to protect you, he will protect you. And Allah does not hesitate to do anything as he hesitates to take the soul of the believer because he knows that you hate death and he hates to disappoint you. This is one of my favorite Hadith Qudsis. This is one of my favorite Hadith Qudsis. A lot of people say, you know, what are some of the signs that Allah loves you? Well, Allah will bless you with a long life. Why? Because he hesitates to take your soul because he knows that that's the one thing that we all fear is death. So if you live to see the age of 70, you live to see the age of 80, 90, 100, this is a blessing from Allah. And this is why as Muslims, we should never dislike getting old. You know, we should accept it for what it is, a sign of Allah's love. And also we learn from this hadith that by fulfilling the obligations, such as performing our prayers every day, wearing hijab, growing the beard, doing the things that we are obligated to do, this is how we get close to Allah. And then if we choose to do the voluntary deeds, what are the rewards for doing them? Well, this is how we earn Allah's love as long as we do those deeds and be consistent in doing them. This is why we do the voluntary prayers. This is why we do voluntary fasts. This is why I sit here on the internet teaching all day long, you know, because we want to earn the love of Allah. And Allah has promised that he will never allow the hellfire to touch anyone whom he loves. So this is a wonderful hadith that we need to ponder in our everyday lives as we live each day as if it were our last. You know, are you fulfilling the obligations that Allah has imposed upon you? And what deeds are you doing to even get closer to him? And are you consistent in doing them? And are you in acceptance to the decree of Allah? Or are you one of those people that's hating the fact that you're old or don't want to be called old? Being old is a blessing for us believers. It's only a curse for those who don't believe in Allah. So it's a wonderful hadith for us to ponder in our everyday lives. Is anyone would like to share how this hadith uh, impacts you in your life? Go ahead. I, this hadith, this hadith is so, it's not just powerful, but it's inspiring. It's inspiring for me because as a Muslim, it 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 encourages me. It's encouraging me to you know hang on to that rope, that rope 
of Islam and 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 to not never stop believing you know and to remember that Allah is aware Allah is before us after and behind us and sometimes I have to remind myself of that that Allah never you know Allah doesn't have to come down from the heavens in order to to care about me you know physically you know Allah is there Allah is there for all his creation and I have to remember that you know that no matter how hard things get or how scary sometimes things are you know for me you know when I'm when I'm not well that it's going to be all right because Allah is merciful he's merciful to his creation and I just got to hold on and keep that faith keep that faith and I keep asking Allah to strengthen it strengthen my faith make me strong and believing and trusting of Allah's process for me that's it. Alhamdulillah. Marshall, anybody else would like to share? Okay, it's a wonderful hadith that tells us how to get close to Allah. First of all, just by doing the things he commands us to do. And then if you want to increase your relationship with Allah, your status with him, do the voluntary deeds. Okay, I'd like to thank everybody for joining and participating in this session. Asupana kalahumu wa bihamdika, ashadu an la ilaha ila anta, astaghfiruka wa tubu.